So, hello to everybody. This is Divine Intervention. Thank you for those who subscribed and thank you for the new subscribers. Um, I noticed there's a lot of, a few people who are, are unsubscribing, which is good. It's fine because that means that you are not resonating with my energy. Therefore, you're not in high vibration and that's totally fine because everybody has a different path. Everybody has a different journey. Those of you who are resonating with me, it's because it is meant for you to go to a higher vibration, to another level. Okay, so I was guided uh, a couple days ago while I was going through my awakening process, you know, of being an earth angel and uh, me and my twin also being, you know, both being earth angels reincarnated here on earth. Um, if, if all of you would so do, uh, please do research <laughs> about earth angels, mystic angels, hybrid angels, and what is their purpose uh, being incarnated here on earth, okay? Now, I've also awakened to all these things and I've been constantly praying and asking the guidance of my guardian angels and my spirit guides of light, love, and peace to assist me in, you know, sharing this wisdom to most of you it does very much connect to twin flames and divine divine souls who have spiritual gifts or souls who were blessed with spiritual gifts again divine soul is very different to a regular soul regardless of that you were guided to my channel because you are meant to listen to this so um, my future videos will be pertaining to higher vibration, to higher wisdom. And through these, I will be getting information from the Bible. Now, all these things are being guided to me because honestly, the Bible has been constantly be re rewritten, okay? It's been rewritten many times. Nobody knows what has been taken out and what has not been taken out. So, in all honesty, I do not believe in the Bible 101% because of that, okay? But it does not mean that there are still things in the Bible that are not true. There are things in the Bible that are very much true, and that is why, as an earth angel, I have... <sighs> I'm blessed. I can just say I'm 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 grateful, you know, to have awakened to to be guided, okay, in what to relate to all of you, okay? Now, those of you who are guided to this, you are probably an earth angel most likely. If not, then you are a divine soul, uh whether you're a twin flame or what, or you are a regular soul with spiritual gifts or you're a divine soul with spiritual gifts, okay? Whatever it is, you are in my channel because you are meant to learn in my channel, and it is part of my mission and it's part of my duty as an earth angel here on earth to assist, to counsel and to guide you. That is it. To tell you what to do is not my responsibility nobody has the right to do that no matter how spiritually gifted you are <laughs> okay <laughs> everybody has free will okay God gave Adam and Eve free will okay again I will repeat from the previous video what did God say to Eve do not eat that apple in that tree what did she do she made a choice okay everybody has a choice you are being guided to make the right choice. Listen to your heart. Why? Because that is how God talks to us. It's through our heart. Um, again, this all connects, okay, to spirituality. Now, there's a lot of false prophets, a lot of false um, teachings, and a lot of, you know, pastors and priests, they're, they're, they're adding and deducting from the Bible, and they're manipulating it to to other people to give other people an understanding of their own which is really a sin you cannot do that okay only those who are divinely guided can do that and that is why i'm doing this okay so uh, what are earth angels let's start with this okay i'm gonna start with this first because it's gonna be a long video again go get a cup of coffee or something because it's gonna be pretty long okay 
Now, if you ever feel sleepy, and I'm being called to say this, if you feel sleepy at any moment in time, pause the video and stop the video. It's a dark entity that's trying to hinder you from hearing what you need to hear, okay? So just pray. That's all I could say, okay? Just pray. Um, you know, pray to the Almighty Heaven to and your guardian angels to assist you that whatever I say in this video, you will benefit. Because again, I don't like to waste my time and I don't want to waste your time and I'm sure you don't want your time to be wasted. Correct? Correct? Okay. So what are earth angels? Earth angels are here for different missions. One of it is could be to counsel, to teach, right? That is also said in the Bible and I will read the verses that my guardian angels have advised me to read to, to, to all of you, okay? Earth angels were incarnated here, why? Because there's too much darkness in the world and obviously nobody is gifted enough to, spiritually, divinely gifted enough to actually, you know, give and share this wisdom. Now, I'm not saying this because I feel any higher than anybody. That is not right. That is not true. I am not talking by pride and ego. I am telling you the truth, okay? Plain and simple. I'm just telling you the truth and it's up to you. It's up to you how you will take it. It's up to you if you will take it or not. But I will not stop. I will not stop doing what I'm meant to do. And that is to counsel, to guide, and to teach all of you who want to be taught the truth. Okay? The higher wisdom to lifting your high vibration. Those of you who fall Carolyn Kundalini, she is very much legit. She is a divine teacher and um, so much more. So if you follow her, this will resonate very much so because we are all connected um, in our divine mission. And this, again, is included in Twin Flames. Okay, This does not matter if you are not in union with your Twin Flame or not it still will resonate with you because it's something that you need to learn, it's something that you need to know, and something that you need to awaken to within your heart. And as so I have awakened to it, I hope that it will awaken you too, okay? So, earth angels are here to teach, to guide, to counsel, correct? Now, and those of you who don't believe it, go to a medium and a medium will tell you they can see like a hovering thing on top of a person's head or they can see like you know a shape of a the the angel wings and i've had many instances in my life in you know awakening and going through this ascension process sometimes i could feel my wings in my back um you know and i've i've also done astral projecting <laughs> um you know sometimes my very first times was it was very hard to, you know, awaken to what is this, why is that, you know, but through time, it eventually taught me something, okay? Um, awaken to my spiritual gifts is one of them, to that awakening. Um, so, now I wanted to read to you guys, to those of you who are earth angels, mystic angels, or hybrid angels, if you're an angel reincarnated in this life, and you know that you really are, okay? I'm going to read these verses from the Bible. This is for you. You are here for a mission, and you are being called to fulfill that mission, okay? Okay. In Psalm 103, 20, Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Psalm 91, 11. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Again, what is the purpose of angels who reincarnated here? It's to teach, to guide, to counsel. Correct? Because we have a high vibrating light. And within the light, believe it or not, no demon, no dark entity can touch me. Cannot. They can try, but they can't. Really. Um, now, here is in Luke. Luke 4.10 For it is written, He will command His angels concerning you to, gu to guard you carefully. You see? You see? So, it's, it's actually been prophesied. It's been prophesied in the Bible. Okay, and these are things that I was guided to read to all of you. Okay? 
what is the purpose of the angels who reincarnated here now there is there is a, a lot of debate in regards to reincarnating and um resurrection okay there is no reincarnation in the bible i'm only saying reincarnation because that's easy for everybody to understand but in reality most of us divine souls or if you are here because you have a soul purpose or what it's 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 sole purpose for humanity really it's not for yourself <laughs> it's for everybody okay if you have a sole purpose within you that is meant for everybody to benefit then most likely yes you are an earth angel okay and that's why i'm doing this because i was guided to do this um so here's another one hebrews 13 2 do not forget to show hospitality to strangers for by doing some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it a lot of you don't even know that we're earth angels right and if you do your research on google it will say there or even read in books which i have okay i have and one of them is by doreen virtue and she's made angel oracle cards so you can research about that doreen virtue i've read a book from her about earth angels and one of their one of the lists there uh, about our characteristics about our personality is very much in sync okay very very much in sync because earth angels don't like to tell everybody hey we're earth angels you know why am i being guided to say that i'm an earth angel because again i'm being guided Okay, why? Because you need to know me. You need to know why. You need to know what is this about. And in order for you to trust me, you need to know who I am. Okay? Now, if you have psychic abilities or you're a medium and you, you know, this and that, then look for yourself. You can see in this video, I give you permission who I really am. Okay? Now, in 1 john 4 1 it says here dear friends do not believe every spirit okay but test the spirits to see whether they are from god because many false prophets have gone out into the world if you guys recall why i said i prefer to not use cards I said that because the person who invented cards is, or was, I don't know now, but was a member of the satanic church, okay? His name is Osti Crowley, something Crowley. And if, you're, if you don't want to believe me, go to YouTube and search Doreen Virtue and um, watch the the video that she posted about Bethel Church, about this ex-Bethel Church student or whatever, and you will see what they were doing in there and stuff like that. Now, again, there's a lot of people who prophesy all these teachings, yet you're not even sure, you know, if they're telling the truth, right? It sounds convincing, really. It sounds convincing. But in reality, you don't know who you're following, okay? And that connects to tarot cards. Why does that connect to tarot cards and oracle cards? And I'm being guided to say this. Because when you read a tarot card and an oracle card, you are calling spirit. Right? You are calling it. Now, how sure are you that that spirit that you're calling, or when you go to a psychic and you ask for a reading, how sure are you that that psychic is calling a spirit of God? And not a spirit of the demon again something to think about okay what did i say what have i been trying to tell you guys be careful who you go to for help be careful who you ask for advice right when it comes to twin flames there is a silver lining there is a boundary you cannot you can't go beyond that okay a soul contract is a soul contract between you and that person. Does not matter if it's a karmic, does not matter if it's a soulmate, it does not matter if it's your twin flame. It is between you and that person or those persons, okay? No one has the right to intervene in that, only the divine. I'm already saying that to you because I have been meditating and 
you guys know through my ascension and awakening process which i've deleted my past videos for a good reason but if you have been following those videos you know that i mentioned there i have been going up in heaven astral projecting and looking into my books because i do have my own library now within these things i have awakened to a lot of things and that is also why i'm connecting it to what you guys should already know or if you don't know well now you know okay um it's for the better good of your soul really again it's up to you if you want to take what i'm saying or not okay there's nothing to lose really you take what i say it's good for you you don't then it's good for you that's your choice it's your choice you live with your choice there are consequences for every choice that we make does not matter if it's good or bad does not matter if it's small or big okay what am i doing i'm doing my mission i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing why i reincarnated here and because me and my twin are in union my special gifts my spiritual gifts have really enhanced and i and that is why i'm doing this okay i'm not getting paid for this <laughs> i'm doing it because of love plain and simple because i care for each one of you because i know there's a lot of people out there who are are going to these churches and they don't know that they're actually being possessed by demons and they think it's normal it's not normal when you see somebody crying on the floor shouting for for help or whatever that's not normal when you see someone laughing out of nowhere that is not normal that is possessed you are being possessed okay if you know a family member or a friend who are going to bethel church that's one of them one of them and you are following this the so-called guy that i i mentioned um masaro masaro that guy you guys i forgot his first name masaro again it's not normal when you're dancing out of nowhere and you're you know us angels can see that we can see the souls crying okay when you guys watch my previous videos and i was very angry and very emotional now i now i think my guardian angels i know how to control my anger very well okay now i can at the time i was in my awakening ascension process so that is why it was hard for me to control you know my anger and really that's something that i could honestly choose to not share to any of you but i chose to share it to you because most of you need you should you, you needed to hear it you needed to hear the intensity of how serious the matter is okay this earth that we live in is hell i'm gonna repeat it is hell why is it hell because there's a lot of people who hurt each other there's a lot of people who kill each other there's a lot of people who commit suicide okay and those who are addicted to drugs whatever 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 that is drugs alcoholism or whatever those are the type of souls that choose to remain in that state and when they die they will remain in that state in that situation forever okay now let's move on i don't know what i was guided to say those things in exodus twenty three twenty, it says behold i send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place that i have prepared what what did what did our lord jesus christ say here or what did god say here I don't know which who said who i mean i'm just reading this from the bible so i'm being honest with you guys okay it could be god or it could be our lord jesus christ who said this but he said behold i sent an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place that i have prepared god said that now i'm now i'm getting it yeah my guardian yeah my guardian angels are helping me <laughs> god said that so why did he say that he prepared a place because this is hell wake up you guys wake up okay you reincarnated here with your twin why because there's a bigger purpose here your love is pure your love for one another is pure it's holy it is something that is so 
holy that's why god made you both twin flames okay and it is prophesied in the bible he was referring to twin flames it doesn't matter if you 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 die or what you the love will never die and it lasts on till many lives that is why marriage is very sacred why do you think because your love is very sacred with each other and what is the purpose of twin flames again it's to change people's lives it's to change social society culture of what of love what is love what is true love and that is why i've been constantly emphasizing to all of you divine feminines out there who are not in union with your divine masculine not in union okay those of you who are not in union you are required to show unconditional love, unconditional compassion, and unconditional forgiveness. Yes, you make healthy boundaries, but why? Because your love for one another is holy. If you cannot awaken to that fact, okay, and be enlightened to that love, that pure holy love, how can you and your twin affect people? How? How can you and your twin change social society culture beliefs? How? When in reality, this earth is hell. It's, but it's governed by a lot of demonic entities. It's governed by demons. Uh, yeah, uh, y'all don't even know that? Do you know there are presidents who are members of the satanic church? Did you guys even know that the satanic church even exists? Or were you not even aware of it? Well, now you are, because I'm already telling you, it exists. So how do you want your kids to grow in this kind of environment? Again, why, right? Why? Because it's to prepare you for the place that God has prepared. Again, if you are not in union with your twin, you are being tested. Okay? You are being tested and your divine masculine is being tested because when union happens, it is pure, it is peaceful. There is nothing to worry about. There might be a few arguments of characteristics, but you know, personality things and that, but that's because you as twin flames before we reincarnated, we didn't even know much of each other. We just loved each other. So now we have an opportunity to know each other again. Okay? So again, how do you go about that? How do you go about this process, okay? Of separation, the running, the chasing with your divine masculine. It all depends on you. It's up to you. As a divine feminine, it is your responsibility to awaken to who you are, what you are, your self-worth, your self-respect, your self-love. Because that is the only way that union can happen. Because your divine masculine is programmed to the dark side. Now, here's the thing. If union does not happen and you have awakened to your divine femininity and you are living your divine femininity every single day of your life and union has not happened, it means one thing and one thing alone. Your divine masculine refuse union. How can your divine masculine refuse union? He is stuck or she is stuck in ego and pride. Okay, there is no guarantee. That is why I've been constantly saying, why did I name this channel Divine Intervention? Aside from the fact that my guardian angels advise me to name it Divine Intervention because it's the divine's timing. He will decide when union is right. He will decide when it is ready. If you are not in union with your twin, you are not ready, period. If it's not you, then it's your divine masculine who's not ready. Again, you both are twin flames because you both should be balanced together. Together. And you should be balanced as one, as a divine feminine and in your own divine masculinity. You have to be balanced in your own divine masculinity as well before union happens, okay? 
again email me email me if you guys have questions it's on the description box okay so matthew 24 36 but concerning that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of heaven nor the son but the father only what is that referring to it's referring to judgment day a lot of people say oh my god judgment day is gonna come next month or next year blah 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 that's a that's a lost spirit talking to that person and probably possessed by dark entities trying to mock judgment day okay nobody knows i'm already telling you nobody knows not even our lord jesus christ know when judgment day will come not the angels okay that's what that's what the bible said okay and again these verses okay i woke up one morning and literally i was guided and a voice said to me look up these things on you know biblegateway.com because i don't have a physical bible with me and to be honest with you i don't even know how i i got all these things honestly i don't i'm just following <laughs> what i'm being guided to say to all of you okay be blessed that you're in my channel and please be humble because i'm humbled okay and always pray always pray it's all about prayer it does not matter how you do it it does not matter what you say it's what's in your heart okay it's what's in your heart we're living in darker times now and that's what i want to emphasize to everybody okay we're living in darker times there's a lot of crimes going on all of you know that there's a lot of people dying even children who are dying every day every day and there's a lot of poverty going on every day if you are not in that situation it does not mean that you don't have the right to pray for them pray for every soul again what it what did it say here when it said here you know um let me see do not forget to show hospitality to strangers that's the same thing it doesn't mean i don't know you i don't know your name or i don't know who you are or we haven't met in person therefore i don't love you and i don't know how to show love to you or show any care if the most we can do is pray what is wrong with that right you guys getting me are you getting me okay now in luke luke 20 36 okay for they cannot die anymore because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. What did I say about reincarnation? What did I say about souls and divine souls who chose to reincarnate after death? Again, I'm saying reincarnate because it's easier for everybody to understand. But in reality, it's resurrection, okay? What happened when Jesus Christ died? He was resurrected. He showed himself as a soul, as a spirit, correct? After three days of his death. Same thing. You are a divine soul with spiritual gifts, whether that be psychic, whether that be a healer, whether that be an earth angel. It does not matter, okay? You, you are equal to angels and are sons of God and you are the sons of the resurrection again i'm gonna read it for they cannot die anymore because they are equal to angels and are sons of god being sons of the resurrection so why is it again the purpose of twin flames reincarnating here on earth you guys get what i'm trying to say here okay why are we here why did we choose to come here why was the need of the purpose of twin flames to change social society cultures and to change the beliefs of what love is because there's a mission here every every soul every divine soul has a mission it's your choice what mission you choose okay and for those who want to debate otherwise well <laughs> debate <laughs> debate you know because again who made twin flames 
it wasn't man. It was the divine who made twin flames, really. So everything that I'm saying right now really pertains to every spiritual being here on earth. We all came here for a mission. Whatever spiritual gifts that you have, it is for the betterment of good. It's for the good of everybody, okay? Um, and those, there are those who have spiritual gifts, yet they use it for dark, black magic. That's one of them, okay? I could name a lot, really. Um, and then, here, I'm going to read this, okay? Acts 7, 5, 3. You who received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. Okay? Now, I'm saying this because I'm being guided to say this. I'm an earth angel and my twin who reincarnated here on earth. Okay? I've had many visions and many dreams. Now, I'm not saying this to have any high pride or ego, whatever. I'm not like that, <laughs> to be quite honest. There's many other people out there in the whole world who protest this and that. You be the judge. I'm just doing what I'm being guided to do. And that is to, honestly to guide you guys to the right path here. Because everybody is manipulating everything in the Bible and they're adding words, they're taking out words. It's not, it's not right, okay? And to be quite honest, it's also in the Bible. Whatever you take out and you add, that's a curse on you, okay? And we've seen that. I can name a lot of religions <laughs> who have been cursed, to be quite honest, because they've been adding, they've been deducting, and you see them erasing, <laughs> writing, <laughs> okay? Again, use your own judgment. God gave you a, a gift, whether that be psychic or what, or your intuition, or if you're empathic, okay, things like that. It's a spiritual gift. Use it. Why did God give you that? To use it, okay? Now, there is a new energy shift that's happened, correct? Within this new energy shift, we are all required to reach that high vibration and that high level of understanding in regards to our soul mission here on earth. A lot of things will improve. Why do I say that? Because you can feel it. If you have been watching my videos, you very much are aware with the changes around you that's been happening, okay? A lot of you are twin flames who have subscribed to me. You're all twin flames, to be quite honest. Most of you, not all of you, but most of you. Um, some of you are, you have spiritual gifts, you know. But in regards to me sharing all these things, through the process of everything, you have come with me, walk with me, with everything. That's why you will notice changes in your life. You know, what used to be is no longer. Um, you're going to feel a different sensation in your body. Um, some of you will enhance your spiritual gifts and things like that. Because I pray for you. I pray for everybody, to be quite honest. I pray for every soul. Okay? The purpose of my video is to enlighten, to awaken. Now, however you perceive it and however you take it, that is your guardian angels saying it to you, okay? So I am asking your guardian angels beside you at this moment that you're watching this video to guide you, okay? To speak to you through your intuition, to your own, your own understanding. Now, it does say in the Bible to not rely solely on our own understanding, correct? That is why there are angels here who reincarnated here on earth to guide you it's all written in the bible okay now to go in detail with marriage and things like that um again the bible has been rewritten so many times nobody knows what was taken out and what was added on that is why i cannot say that i believe 101 percent to the bible okay Again, a lot of people have rewritten it, taken a lot of words, and added words in there. One thing that I do not agree, okay, is honestly, which I'm open to this, I'm being humbled to say this, homosexuals, it's said in the Bible, homosexuals, drunkards, stuff like that, 
will not enter the kingdom of God. Now, all of us twin flames, you've you've felt the energies, you've felt the miracles in your life. Your connection with your twin, for example, me, when I was in union with my twin, we've been having physical connection, like pains. If I'm feeling pain in my heart, she's feeling pain in her heart. If she's sick, I get sick. That's the type of connection here. It's a spiritual connection, okay? Now tell me, that's something very special, correct? That's not something to just disregard and be like, oh, it's just a soulmate, it's just a, you know, a partner. No, there's a reason for it. For every person who has spiritual gifts, why do you have those spiritual gifts? Now, those are the types of things that I believe was taken out of the Bible and I believe was added on to make it manipulated, okay? Walking through this is going to be very challenging for me. Um, but I, this is so far that I have come to and collected from my garden angels. And this is what I was being told to share with all of you, okay? In the coming videos, I will explain about religion and how it correlates to Twin Flames and what is your mission, regardless if you are in union with your twin. Because there are some of you, okay, that your Divine Masculine refuse union, all right, manifested you to come into this life so that you both will be in union, but now he's an arrogant person or she's an arrogant person, your divine masculine is arrogant, okay? Wanting you to feel like, well, you're lucky for even being with me. That's bullshit. I'm gonna say that right now, okay? That is why I've been constantly telling everybody, you're a divine feminine, you need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on self-love, self-respect, and self-worth. Because this is, this is really for you. It's for you. And if you progress and you grow and you mature and enhance, mentally spiritually emotionally all those things it eventually will mirror to your divine masculine now the angels and the divine know that there is free will here on earth you have free will that is why angels do not intervene unless you ask for help right so this is how it goes okay if for whatever situation that you are in, whether you are in union or not in union with your Divine Masculine, okay, and I'm, I'm trying to say this as quick as I can, um, and you have progressed, you have matured and all that, the self-worth, self-respect, whatever, you've matured, you've grown to a higher vibration, okay, a higher vibration in your Divine Femininity, there is a possibility that your Divine Masculine will choose otherwise now what happens when that happens you have to continue your journey separately okay it doesn't end there there is a possibility that if that happens you will be sent a soulmate a soulmate to continue this journey of yours and fulfill your mission work Okay, that's why there's a lot of you who are healers. Why are you healers? What is that for? Okay, again, you will benefit in the coming videos. I'm gonna stop right now because I'm actually cooking right now. If you guys can see, I'm, I'm cooking, it's burning. Okay, bye guys.